Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about 5 tips in Revit and number 1 in my top. Group object or type of group objects. So let's select some object and create group of them. And now duplicate it in edit type menu and change new name. Go back to your group and change anything you want. Now save it. Again select your group and go to the properties and change type to new one. As you see we get two type of one group. And number two. Let's say you have two group and if you put them together you get cross section. So what we have to do? Of course, you can delete one of them or change group, but let's do other method. So, uh, select one cross object and click uh, on this small button. And here we are. So, let's look what happened. As you see, second object has height. Of course, you can unhide it. Just click here, restore or exclude it. And number three, links. So, if you know of Takata, I'm sure you know what is that uh, X rep. Links is totally same thing. Why we need them in Revit? Let's say you're working with entire department and engineer. They will use all model because it's easy control and still you can load it to the central model. Now I will create link object from my mod model. If we will go to this link file, we can make any changes instantly. After you did it, just save and go back to the main file. Totally same like in xref. As you see, it was changed. I highly recommend this method if you're working on the huge project. And number 4. Sometimes when your grid so close to the other one, you need manually change uh, location like this. But let's say you're building 50 story tower and each level you need change manually. Actually no. We have few ways to do that, I will show you one of them. So just click on the grids which should be changed and after click on the propagate extends. Choose floor or sheets which you want to change and let's check it out. And number 5. DWG package export. Let's say you have over 10 pages and you want to export it as set. So go to the export DWG. Let's create new set. Name it and choose the page which you want to export. Save and close. Now go back to the export DWG and choose our export profile. Now export it. We have done.